are at La Creperie de Paris, and we are sitting down, and it's it is much less crowded in here than it was last time we were here. So the last time we dined here, it was very crowded. Um, I know some people are not as into it. I thought it was a, a great meal. I was really, really happy and I wanted to come back. So we'll let you know how it is this time around. So this is the dip and it's actually very, very good. I'm really liking it. It's very sweet. If you like a sweet drink, this is perfect. And then you have the rosé. Rosé. How is it? Uh, all oh my god. <laughs> I will drink it all night. It's, it's good. It's so delicious. It's good. It's, okay. like, it's like juice. You're drinking juice. Oh, I, I like that. Yeah, this is really good. So I like the prefix menu because you get cause you get to pick everything. You get a drink, you get the salad or soup, you get the galette, and you get the dessert one. It's good. <laughs> it's very sweet. Um, it's really good. I get it again. I forgot. I know, I forgot to take a photo of the salad and I picked my onions off. Um, so this is the salad maison, the house salad. It has what, a vinaigrette or something? Or is it a French dressing? I can look it up. Anyway, really good salad. Really nice greens and very fresh and I have zero complaints. So far I'm loving it. Okay, here we have the Savoyard, which has, um, this has raclette cheese, caramelized onions, bacon, imported prosciutto ham. And then over here, I have the poulet, which is chicken, bechamel cheese sauce, and mushrooms. Then we have another Savoyard over here. And we have from the menu en France, we have the brie cheese galette. So, let's dig in. We'll let you know what we think. All right, here we go. All right, Nina, what did you think of your meal? You had the brie. No, I'm in my family. You love it though, huh? Yes. Good. Okay, so she liked it. Not every kid's going to be into it, but she did like it. And then we kind of traded the, um, Dad, the poulet and the Daddy. other one with the oh, ham, with the prosciutto. It. So we kind of swapped, we kind of cut them into quadrants and then swapped them around. Really so good. I would say on the on the galettes, um, I've had the Savoyard and the poulet, and I prefer the poulet. They're both good, they're both good, for sure. But I think I would choose the poulet over the Savoyard, but it's still good. The reason I like the poulet better is because it's like a creamier kind of sauce on it, and it has, I think, mushrooms in it. Um, and the Savoyard is good. It's a little bit, you know, it's like savory. It's got the, the prosciutto and um, the raclette cheese, I think. So it's kind of like a, yeah, more savory flavor, whereas the other one's just like very creamy. Um, they're, it's very rich. It's very, very rich though. Oh boy, the desserts have arrived. This is the poire, which is a hazelnut spread with, um, let me see. Um, poire, yeah, pear, hazelnut, ganache, uh, poire, sorry, it's pear, chocolate, ganache, and whipped cream. And then this is the kids, uh, just the chocolate, ganache, and the whipped cream. And then you have, which one? This is the gourmand, and that is the uh, hazelnut, chocolate spread, whipped cream. Okay, so pretty, they're very simple. Very simple. But they look amazing. We have another, another poire Maybe over here. Maybe I should have the pear one. Oh boy, this dessert is really good. I really enjoyed the poire last time and it, the crepe and it's just as good as I remember. I would highly recommend that dessert. So yeah, awesome, awesome. And it's like warm and just oh, it smells so good, love it. So I do really like the gourmand. Uh, it has like some crispy crunchy things on here. It gives a really nice texture because it makes it like crispy. Um, and so it's simple, but. Yummy! Like, and it just has the. the just has the hazelnut, hazelnut spread. Uh -huh. And then like the crispy, crunchy chocolate balls on the top. With like the. Uh, Ooh, I have that one! Yeah, uh, it's very good. Tell me again what you thought of your meal. Yeah. Yeah. I think Remy made it. 
Oh, I hope so. I'd like to have all my food made by rats. Yeah. But I'm a rat fan. <laughs> so what are your final thoughts on coming back the second time to La Prairie de Perry? I'll say I was picking dishes so we had like one of everything. Okay. Right. So, so your second experience was better? Yes, it was a lot better. Would you recommend it? Yes, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it is all tasty. Um, maybe get something that's more frame based like you know there, there's stuff that's <laughs> okay so some final thoughts here um, this is our second time dining at La Creperie de Paris um, I really like it I'm happy I got the exact same thing I got last time Randall ordered better than he did uh, the first time around I would come back I enjoyed it um, and I ended up there were actually walk up reservations so if you're if you don't have a reservation I would check the day of uh, there was definitely availability, and I'm surprised because when we were here before, it was really, really crowded and hard to get in. It was brand new. Now I feel that um, it's a lot better. It's a lot easier to get in, so that, that works for me. One thing you're going to want to remember is that the um, discount, there's not a discount here, so you can't use any of your, your discounts, but um, I would still totally recommend it. It was worth it. I want to come back. And our server was Flor, and she was very good. So, yeah, I think we'll be back again. Yes? Yes. yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye.